Uh, last thing I want to share is one of the most important things of poetry, which is the idea of the line versus the sentence. So poetry is made up of lines, which um, form stanzas. And, um, but the sentence, the sense of what is happening in a particular poem can often go over a line. And when they do that, poets use, uh, uh, are using a, a French word called enjambment. It means to kind of like jam the meaning down across the line. And I just want to point out in Dana Smith's um, poem, Dinosaurs in the Hood, where you can see that happening, just so you have an idea of how that works. Um, so here in this line, at the end of the stanza, he says, I want grandmas out on the front porch taking out raptors. That is the end of the line, but it is not the end of the sentence. So I want grandmas out on the front porch taking out raptors with guns they hid in walls and under mattresses, period. That is the end of the sentence. So you actually kind of, you, you have this image at first where you have grandmas taking out raptors before you understand that they're taking them out with guns. And there's something, there's a tension there that poets play with between what hangs out kind of on the line and what gets continued in the next part of it to make sense of it. So you always have to read over the end of a line to get to the period to make sure you're getting the full sense of the sentence. But the line still stands with its own meaning too. I'll show you one more example in here. He's just repeated this phrase, but this can't be a black movie. This can't be a black movie. This movie can't be dismissed because of its cast or its audience. And right there you see he's, this is the end of the line but not the end of the sentence. But it can almost stand as its own, on its own. And it's important that you kind of hear that it does because he says, this movie can't be dismissed. And he lets that hang there on its own before he moves on to say, because of its cast or its audience. And I think that tension between the line and the sentence is really what motivates a lot of the excitement that I find in poetry where poets can kind of have a, a line that soars and sings and has its own meaning, but then is embedded within another meaning. And I just find it really cool um, how poets are able to do that and make those connections.